The most common call we receive during the winter months is uh, low hot water uh, amount or low temperature, no hot water at all. Um, this can be uh, a result of the solar not working at all, but primarily it has to do with your uh, auxiliary heater or L uh, if you have a single tank electric system, if you're all electric and you only have one tank in the garage or in the, in the, in the mechanical room, that the, there's an element, an electric element in that water heater, that's the auxiliary heating source, that's not working. It's part of the water heater itself, the electric part. Um, or if you have two tanks, you have a solar tank and let's say a gas tankless or a gas tank water heater, that generally if you have no hot water or very little, it's an indication that the, the pilot light may have gone out on the tank type water heater or the tankless is could be unplugged or not ha doesn't have power or it's just not firing properly so you're not getting any heat from the from your primary water heater when the temperatures are cooler in the winter so those are the first items to check generally in the screen you see the temperatures might be like this 94 on the roof and then the tank at 77 or 80 and the roof well the, the tank a bit are warm I'm going to warm it up <laughs> The tank would be a little warmer. I just had it iced, so we're warming it up. Put, a, put my hand over the sensor, and you can see how fast these sensors react. This is just my hand gripping that sensor I spoke of in the previous video. So that those numbers you're seeing on the screen right now, and I'm scrolling through, might be common in the winter. But, but of course, 77 degrees in the tank's not what you want to take a shower in or do dishes in normally. So if you have low water temperature, so the temperature is tepid or warm. It may be if you have a, during, especially in the morning and then it, during, at the end of the day, if the sun's been out blazing and you might have a hot tank, hot enough to take a shower, but then you use it all up, in the morning it's cold again, that means your, again, your pri the primary heating system for your home, which would be an electric element in the solar tank, it's incorporated right there, or your gas or tankless water heater that's a separate, it's called a two tank system, something is not working with those. Uh, consult with a single tank system, uh, consult the use and care manual, it could be the thermostats not set right, it could be elements out, uh, it could be on some tanks there's a timer or the breakers turned off to the for powering the element. Um, if you're unsure, contact a technician that uh, is versed in electric water heaters for single tank system. On a two tank system that's using gas, um, you might be able to get the, if it's a pilot light on a tank water heater, sometimes the gas companies will come out and relight your pilot. Um, might be the pilot light um, thermocouple is out. so. They'll have to change the thermocouple. Could be the water heater's not working, the tank water heater. So, my need, a plumber can is probably the best person to call on that. On tankless, also, if you know the plumber that put it in, call them. Sometimes um, they just are not working. It, it, when it gets colder, things start to work harder, uh, especially the fossil fuel the primary systems, whether it's electric or gas or propane, and they they tend to. Um, but generally have more issues when it gets cooler in the year. Thank you.